Do you want to hear about a deliverance session where a woman was delivered from Dagon? This should be interesting. Hi, my name is Joy. I'm with Breaking Curses 101. And first of all, I'd like you to subscribe to my channel. Click the bell so you can know when my videos are coming out. Please like the video. Comment. I need comments. Good comments as well as bad comments. I know I'm asking for it, right? I get enough crazy comments. But all comments are good comments to me. Because it helps me understand where, where your thinking is. And then share the video. This is going to be a good one. So I was working with a woman near Italy and Greece. I'm just not even going to give an exact location. <laughs> so she had a dream about a bungee cord taking her down into a cavern and she saw lots of human skulls. So we went back into the dream and it turns out there was a covenant that the area that she's from, it's a uh, highly Catholic. It, the Catholicism is uh, the majority religion. So in this dream, we went back into the dream and I can't exactly remember how we even got to the covenant part, but I commanded the covenant. Oh, okay. This is what I did. So all the human skulls in the cavern, you know, they were obviously human sacrifices and there was obviously some kind of contract that some demon had with the family. It was obvious to me. Okay. This is what I do. So I call the contract to come up. I commanded the contract to come up and she saw a scroll with a red ribbon on it. And, um, and I said, okay. And she was like, I can't really read the words. It's so old. I'm like, okay, focus, focus. Come on, come out. Come on, contract. I want a new, I want the contract written on new paper. How about that? We want to know what this contract says. The contract said, in the moment you gave birth to the baby, the baby became mine. I have rights to the baby. You're giving it to me. I have power over it from this day on. Everyone is under my control. And this contract was signed by a woman in her ancestry. And the, she was making a dedication to St. Mary. All right. Now the woman saw a statue. She, in, in the session, I believe she saw a statue of St. Mary and she saw a demon behind it. So Jesus is the only way to God. When you go to anyone else outside of Jesus, you are invoking demons. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. That's what my Bible says in Exodus chapter 20. All right. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Not but by Mary. You don't go to Jesus' mother to get to Jesus. Okay. Mary was a vessel. All right, to bring the physical man Jesus into the world, but Jesus existed from the foundation of the earth, from before the foundation of the earth. Okay, he was and is and is to come. All right, so anyway, this scroll, this contract over her family, uh, was made by a woman who wanted a husband. She said, Mary, if you give me a husband, I will dedicate my children to you. So, all the babies became hers. So, this unleashed these demons into the family immediately. Yes, she got pregnant and had kids. But, um, I mean, yes, she got married and had kids. But, the spirit Dagon came into the family. Dagon... He's that crocodile spirit that makes you go into idolatry. He looks like a cro crocodile. In fact, um, if you want to know what Dagon looks like, look at the Pope. The hat is the fish god. The hat is the, I mean, his, whatever you call it. The hat on his head is shaped like a fish's mouth. That's Dagon. It's an imitation of what Dagon looked like, the fish god. 
So uh, Dagon was the statue that fell over when the Ark of the Covenant was put into the same uh, temple of Dagon. The, the, the temple of Dagon, I mean, the statue of Dagon fell over like three times. And I think the last time it broke. Yeah. So thou shalt have no other gods before me. That includes Mary. Now, this is what Dagon brought in. So the woman made a contract with Mary, St. Mary. And this is what came in. Dagon. He called himself Charlie. I'm like, Charlie, what are you? Charlie said he's a Dagon spirit. And this is, okay, y'all. This is what she told me. I said, Dagon, what did you bring into the family? What curses did you bring into the family? You ready? Strict religion. No fun. No joy. Women are slaves to their husbands. Can't have a life. Just follow your husband. You're a nobody. Mm. That don't sound like Italy. That don't sound like Catholicism. That sounds like the Church of God. That sounds like Gino Jennings. <laughs> sounds like mm, that sounds like your typical evangelical Pentecostal church in America doesn't it all right isn't that what they try to teach you you stay one step behind your man you there to uphold your man's calling because really he's your God <laughs> they don't say he's your God but come on really I'm, okay, I'm sorry. I'm seeing red. I'm, I blanked out for a minute. <laughs> Woo! Okay. Come back, Joy. Come back. All right. That was my Dory imitation, if you didn't catch that. All right. So, Dagon said all of her periods, her menstrual cycles, were to him. But she started her period late. Three years late because she was athletic. So she didn't come on her period till like, what, age 15? And uh, Dagon said she should have come on her period at age 12. So when she did finally give birth to a baby, she bled out so much. He said that was to make up for all the blood that she didn't give him for those first three years that her period didn't come on. This I can't make up. I don't know how to make such crazy stuff up. She said this out of her mouth. Is that crazy or what? Oh, I'm so done. Okay. So this cavern that she saw herself going down into in the dream, it was actually full of babies. 804 babies were sacrificed over her ancestry. Whew. There was a man that was sent into her family by these demons to to basically rape women. He was brought into the family to um, sacrifice animals, but he raped women in the in the family, and he aborted those babies. He caught he caused great violence and harm to those women who were pregnant. To cause them to abort. So many babies were aborted through those violent attacks. Um, this woman experienced molestation. I mean, a spirit of incest came into the family. In those strict, strict religious families, I mean, you can get a lot of sexual deviance. I won't even continue along those lines. I'm like, bring it in, Joy. When you see me blank out like that, I'm like, I got to bring myself back in. I'm not going there. <laughs> you're like this isn't funny she should she shouldn't be laughing at this okay for all you whiny criny babies okay you can just um skip to the end okay <laughs> i'm sorry we all got this crap in our families i'm telling you whoo she saw a fake saint peter and a fake saint paul oh she even saw some connections in her and um in the session to the Incas and the Aztecs in that cavern. 
Now this is Italy, okay? So when we saw the Inca and Aztec thing pop up, we knew we were dealing with Ra. Oh my goodness, Ra had been in the family for 12 generations. Oh man, guess how Ra manifested in her family? Through tanning, worshiping the sun, tanning, tanning, yes. Laying your naked butt out there, roasting on an open fire. Getting all carcinomas and and um, wrinkly skin, aging yourselves. Get out of the sun. That's That, in her case, was a manifestation of Ra. Okay, so, you know, she wasn't brown. <laughs> and she said she didn't even tan. She never tanned. But people in her family... Um, tan and it brought in um, spots. It brought in a lot of spotting on the skin. This was a spirit that this is a condition that came in her family, you know, because this spirit of Ra kept them in the sun, roasting like lobsters. Okay, sorry. All right, so um, there's some stuff that I am not gonna get into, but there was a lot of harassment from men in her life. Men treated her like a piece of meat. Um, she had a lot of fears that came in, fear of life, fear of everything, just fear. Uh, I think I am going to stop right there. Woo! Jesus, there's so much more. Yeah, let's stop right there with her. And um, Okay, ladies. You're bowing down to the church when they tell you to be second- Take second to your husband. Only do what he says. You, you, you're a nobody. They treat you like a nobody in church. That's the spirit of Dagon. Dagon. You don't have to follow that spirit, okay? Don't follow it. That's not of God. Anyway, I'm just telling you that this is just the sessions I'm telling you about. All right, so we're 12 minutes in. And I am going to tell you about the baby dedications. You know what? I am not. I am going to end right here. We'll do the baby dedications in another video. I like to keep my videos short and sweet. Because these baby, we did about one, two, three, woo, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine baby dedications all at once. So I'll see you in the next video. God bless you. Bye.